factors are reproduced in laboratory experiments the ability to perform is studied during noise exposure tests high intensity noise exposure for even short periods of time can become physically intolerable to both support personnel and the astronaut in addition space operations require continuous high quality communications with the astronaut noise as an interfering factor must be reduced or eliminated vibration occurs during the high engine performance period at launch and prior to the time orbital velocity is achieved these vibrations can become so severe as to lead to physical incapacitation research is conducted in biomedical laboratories to determine man's tolerance to this occurrence in addition training and familiarization programs are designed which tend to reduce the effects of vibration on the astronauts performance the effects of high g-forces incurred at time of launch and during successive ignitions of multi-stage booster engines have been thoroughly studied human tolerance limits in various body positioning experiments have been established on the centrifuge complementary air force sponsored man and equipment must be able to operate in a weightless state training and testing procedures developed by Air Force human factors engineers who calling on experience gathered over years of experimentation are able to simulate some of the effects of zero gravity at the School of Aerospace Medicine Brooks Air Force Base Texas disorientation experiments are conducted in a three gimbaled chair free floating on a cushion of air this apparatus provides three-dimensional freedom one of the conditions the astronaut will experience in weightlessness. Any space travel will result in long periods of confinement. Crew members must be able to withstand this psychological stress individually and as a working group. Biochemical changes which take place in man and in his environment must be examined. Changes occurring in space cabin atmospheric gases are also being investigated in a test cell inside one of the pressure chambers. At the Aeromedical Research Laboratories, men and equipment undergo simulated space cabin confinement for the detection of changes in these ambient gases. Adequate oxygen supplies are an absolute necessity to sustain human life. A sensing device developed by the Air Force detects an in severe buffeting will be encountered at the outer fringes of the atmosphere during re-entry maneuverability will be difficult in this situation biomedical research is attempting to increase man's ability to perform emergency functions during this critical period disorientation and forces of gravity will also be experienced during this phase of space flight. Rapid deceleration studies at Holloman Air Force Base determine man's tolerance to the forces encountered prior to or at impact. Methods are under investigation to reduce the severity of these forces on the re-entering astronaut. Instruments and protective devices are also put through a series of deceleration tests to ensure an adequate safety margin before incorporating man. Restraining couch tests determine the best methods of positioning a human subject exposed to landing impact. Escape.